Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, Alan prepares low country food from his taste of Nolan's food truck. And I also make crisp and easy pizzelles. But first, a visit with the Stonebridge location in Howland. We're here in Howland at the Stonebridge location, right on Route 46, and with manager Chuck Alberini. And Chucky, you know, when I think of Trumbull County, I think of you. You are the ambassador well, of you. this big, huge, beautiful county. Thank you. After 40 years, I better know a few people. Yeah, and you know restaurants. I'd say you're uh, you. pretty familiar with the restaurant business. Yeah. So being here at Stonebridge, mm -hmm. This obviously met your high expectations. You know what? I think that's the main reason I'm involved here is that fact that uh, Bob Stevens and Ronnie Zenko, my lifelong dear friends, uh, you know, I, I went and trained with them a year, a year ago, a little over a year ago, and um, I saw the way they did things, and, and I saw, you know, they did everything, you know, first class. Uh, from the ingredients to the service to just all the, you know, I, I, it impressed me. And uh, I thought, you know what, I think I want to be part of this. And yeah. what are you seeing, you know, with Trumbull County residents, you know, being able to come to Howland for um, well, Stonebridge? Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, it's really cool. Um, they really, really found their niche in Trumbull County because there's so many great restaurants and so many choices, you know, the consumer has here. But um, I, what they've done here is and it's kind of a joke with me and Ronnie that we're all things <laughs> to all people, and he, you know he he loved that I coined that phrase because we truly are. Because it, what they do here, you know, it, it's the kind of place where you come on a Saturday night, you know, um, not as a special occasion, but you come. It's casual. It's fun. It's not pretentious. Although when you come here, you felt like feel like you had a dining experience because it's cool, you know. Yeah. But but if you come here on a Saturday night and you want to have a certified Black Angus beautiful steak that you would get the quality of a really high-end steakhouse, you get that here. Do you want a wonderful bottle of wine to go with it? You got it. But on the other hand, you know, the approachability of the place I think is where they found their niche because, you know, you, you could come in on a Saturday night if you want and get a half a sandwich and a cup of soup. And people like that comfort, that, that, that comfort level to, to come into a place. And, and not be pretentious and be scary. It seems like Mahoning and Trumbull counties are like worlds apart. I know where you're going you, with this. What do you think <laughs> the big difference is when, when, with customers, you know, from this area? When you come here, there just seems to be like a different sensibility. You know, it, it's really, it's, it's very interesting, um, the, the difference. And, and looking at sales and, and, and items that sell and, uh, it's, it's totally different than Boardman. Um, you know, they, they try to achieve what we do by selling so many wonderful entrees. You know, the, yeah. the beautiful steaks and the seafoods and all those things. You know, they aspire to be us in that way and we're trying to aspire to be them with building up our lunch business and letting people know, hey, look, you can get a half a sandwich. You can get a beautiful, you know, the, uh, you know for lunch and, and their salads. Oh Whether my gosh, I know. I love the there. chicken milanese. Well, over just, here we sell, we do a lot more entrees here. It's more yeah. of a, it's more of a like a dinner house, you know, and, and you know, they, they you know, the, the, it's amazing that, you know, the, the amount of like saute items and steaks that we do compared to them. But we don't do, you know, the same amount of more casual items that they do over there. It's, it's, it's really, so, yeah, it's 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 totally. It different. is totally yeah. different. You know the yeah. takeout, the want, Stonebridge to yeah, go, you know, and the like lunch there, areas. Their carry out over there is just unbelievable. What they do in carry out over there. Um, well, now, you know that granted, might be a new model for this area, well, and they've the got thing. to you know familiarize they've themselves with it. They've done exactly. They've set this up so perfectly here, for that here, uh, it, it, just like Boardman. You pull right you go, in, you they pull run your out. Car, there's some spots right up front. <laughs> You're literally 10 feet from your car. You come and get your gift cards. You get your carry out. The girl's waiting. The bags are ready to go. I mean, you, it couldn't be any more convenient. Yeah. Packed beautifully. You know what I mean? Everything is fresh and, and hot and, you know, 
So we, we don't do the same amount of carry out that they do over there. We, we're, <laughs> we know that's what we're trying to build. Like you know, we want to be like the big well, boys Holland over there. Well, needs to you know get the uh, <laughs> convenience. Business. But you know what? People are you know are it's, not taking advantage of it. But you know what? People are starting to get it now. Yeah. The carry out business is really starting to climb now. Are you getting a lot of uh, with your um, party room? Yeah, and, and the, the banquet, banquet room is really coming along. It's it's really cool because uh, you know. They, and that's another thing that they do right. The banquets, they do them like the old Alberini style. They do it with class, they do it right. They staff it properly and the, everything is just done perfectly. And it's really cool because I'm seeing a lot of the people, pe people that are loyal to me and my yeah. family, are doing their parties here because of the trust factor. Oh, Chucky, Chucky will make sure. We'll take to, care yeah. of it, exactly. But like I said, you know, it's the way they do things that brings people coming back. Not because of me. They do things right here. Everything is done first class and it makes me proud. I endorse their food. I, I'm proud to serve their food. I'm, I'm proud of our service. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Chef Reggie, this looks amazing. What kind of cake is this? Uh, this is our six layer Guinness chocolate cake. Well, I think I'll be wow. enjoying that, Phil. Absolutely delicious, Reggie. <sighs> Thank well, you. You're welcome, you guys enjoy it. Okay, you, I gotta tell you, I love what you've done with the place. Your cabin chic interior looks great over here. It's warmer and more welcoming. We use reclaimed lumber to really create that earthy feeling. And everything else that we've done in the past, we're just gonna do more of. We are gonna support the local farmers, the local breweries, come up with creative ideas on the menu, everything that our customers want to embrace so that they can eat, drink, and celebrate right here at Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. That is a great mantra. And huh, eat, drink, celebrate, repeat. Cheers. Cheers, Phil. Mayflower Wallum is your full-service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wallum with three locations to serve you. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. At the Vein Center in Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in Med Spa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's, and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients, and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Ruling Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Today I'm gonna to share with you a recipe that I borrowed from one of my best friends, Sherry McDermott, uh, Pitzel cookies. I love Pitzels, they're light, they're crispy, and you can eat tons of them. And the recipe that she gave me makes 12 dozen, which is quite a bit. So I cut it in half, and she got this recipe from her mother, Judy Luceni, grew up right next door to them. 
And I just love pizzelles. They're really easy to make and you can make so many of them and they really last for quite a while, a few weeks, if you keep them in an airtight container. You just have to be careful what time of year you make them because the humidity is a pizzelle killer. And the traditional ones are made with the anise oil, which are my favorites, but a lot of people don't like anise, like my mother, Jelaine, not a fan. So you can also use vanilla flavoring or lemon extract. A lot of people like the rum. Uh, there's a lot of different flavors, chocolate, uh, but I'm going with traditional old school anise. For this recipe, you'll need six eggs at room temperature. You'll need flavoring, either one tablespoon of anise oil or one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract or one teaspoon of lemon extract one quarter cup of canola or vegetable oil, one quarter cup of Crisco, one quarter cup of oleo or margarine, two to two and a half cups of sifted flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and one and a half cups of sugar. Now remember, before you make these cookies, you need to have a pizzelle iron. Uh, Ruli Brothers has a great selection. I am warming this one up. I don't like the ones with the Teflon coating because I don't think the cookies are as crispy, but that is your personal preference. They're about $40 to $50. And I've melted down the Crisco and the margarine before I add that to the eggs. So this is just cooling to room temperature. All right, so we have the six eggs right here in the larger bowl. And we're gonna start by mixing these until they're frothy, three to five minutes uh, with the mixer on medium. All right, so we'll get started with the eggs. All right, so see, a lot of air has been uh, whipped into the eggs. They're nice and frothy, and that's what we want because we want a nice, light, crispy cookie. So now, to the eggs, we are going to add our margarine and canola oil, or you could use vegetable oil, and then our Crisco, all right? And it's been tempered nice, so we'll add this. And this is also when we add our anise oil. Now, they do have the anise extract, but they have these little bottles. They sell them two at a time at uh, Ruli Brothers in the spice section. And I bought these, and these are the equivalent, as you'll see when I take the lids off. And I love the smell of anise. I just love anise. Um, two of these little bottles are one tablespoon. One and two. And that's exactly what we're going to need for these cookies. So we'll add this, and now I'll add the sugar. All right, and we'll beat that for a few <laughs> minutes more. All right, slippery dishes, trying to get them out of the way. All right. All right, so now you see the batter is nice and creamy, and we'll no longer need the hand mixer. So now I'm gonna take the dry ingredients. That'll be our sifted flour. Make sure you sift it, very important the baking powder, and the salt. And I'll just mix this together just a little bit to combine those. And then we'll just add this right to the batter. And we'll finish this off by hand. We'll just get the spatula and mix this together until we get thoroughly and together, and we have a nice, smooth pizza bladder. All right, so we have a beautiful, smooth, fragrant bladder, and I'll cover this with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge. You wanna chill it for a few hours or even overnight, and then we'll be ready with the pizza iron. All right, so this is a little trial and error when you are making your pizzelles. Because remember, you've got to use a little bit of oil or spray, and you want a nice lubricated iron, but you don't want too much. And it's almost like pancakes. 
the first couple plan on ruining because you got to regulate the heat and checking all that in your quantity. So we've been playing around with this. Um, I think milk and coffee are the best things to drink with pit cells, but Jelaine thinks, and I think you're right, while you're making while them. While you're making them. You better have a glass of wine. And so uh, I really appreciate you helping me with this, Molly. <laughs> Mm. Cheers. Here we go. Casey, I remember making these a few years ago with the old fashioned one. Oh boy. The stove my top. Friend, yes, my friend Ann Clement had, a, it's probably a, really an antique now. Now, I used, don't mean to interrupt, about a half of one of these larger soup spoons for each well. And then you have to get a little watch with a second hand and I am going 25 seconds on these now a lot of people say 20 seconds but I like a little bit of brown to them like a light tan so let's see how we did oh those look good now just take your fork they're gonna be very very pliable when you first take them out Ooh, these kind of stuck together and then you just put them on your cooling rack. Already crispy, look. Mmm, and they're perfect. Remember, store them in an airtight container. All my neighbors used to keep their coffee cans. And you don't want them to break because they are very, very fragile, but they are crispy and they stay for a good two weeks. It's long, in the you, summertime, it's very- Very it's, hard. You know, you gotta watch your humidity. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, just go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com. The recipe's there, four pit cells. Love them. Cheers, Jelaine. Cheers. Mm, here's to you. Here's Thank to you, us. Sherry. Thank you, Judy. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. I'm blessed with a wonderful husband. He's stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know, Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often, Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum.
it's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one-of-a-kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Well, around town, you've probably seen the Taste of New Orleans food truck. And Alan Franco is the proprietor. And let me tell you, if you want some low country food, this is the man to see. What made you start a food truck in our area? Well, I've, I'm from the area, and I've worked from New York, San Francisco, and everywhere in between at restaurants, country clubs, hotels, or whatnot. And wanted to get out of it, wanted to do my own thing. And uh, some friends of mine decided, hey, you know what? Let's help this guy out. Let's get some, let's do something. So we were going to do a landlocked restaurant, but why put money into somebody else's building? Too much money to build something from the ground. Food truck. And we researched a food truck and uh, made sense. Well, you know, our market is really not food trucky. Right. You know, Austin, Texas, you hear right. San Francisco. My gosh, they've got a whole region, and even like Jacksonville, Florida. I know those are bigger epicenters for, for food trucks. How is it going in our region? Well, one of my goals when I became a chef, I wanted to educate people on food. And what better way to educate people on, on food with than with a food truck? So trying to just uh, just do the different things. And you know, we've had a great response. People going ooh and all over trip food truck. They, you know, they're really, you know, the food, they've never had anything like this. And uh, they, they're getting really good reception. We had a great year last year, and uh, it's even better this year. Well, so you're far. classically trained from what, CIA? CIA, went to the Color Institute of America. And how has, you know, the cramped quarters, I mean, that had to be some adjustment, learning from a regular kitchen to, you know, these confined quarters. Well, I've worked at a lot of different restaurants, like I said, all over, and, you know, I worked at Station Square in uh, Liberty, and that's where I cut my teeth with Mario at the VIP club yeah. and stuff, and that kitchen's small. And so, you know, the smaller the kitchen, the easier you can get around, you don't have to make too many steps, so we're gonna make the shrimp tacos. Oh, those okay. were delicious. So what I do is I use a white corn tortilla, and uh, we lightly fry them. And basically, these are enchilada uh, ta uh, shells. Yeah. And then I just put it over here on the flat top. Now our shrimp, a shrimp like with everything else is wild caught. I use a 2123 or 2125 shrimp. And, and you batter them yourself? They're, uh, they're soaked in buttermilk overnight. And then I do a cornmeal flour dusting on them. Basically the taco gets a um, chipotle coleslaw, which I make. So there's my, uh, I have my mango corn salsa made with fresh cilantro, uh, mango, tomatoes, and garlic. So then I have uh, a 12 blend seasoning that I make myself, and I just I toss anything that's in the fryer. We put this we put there on this on the seafood, and then this here is a cilantro sour cream that I make, and <laughs> these are amazing. Okay. Mm. Wow, I gotta get a bigger bite. That cilantro sour cream. It's delicious. Really, really, really good. I can attest <laughs> to Marjorie's rum cake. Okay. Now I have the plain Italian rum cake, right. and it is, and I am not kidding you, one of the very best cakes I have ever eaten. Thank you. My husband and I were going sliver by sliver. It's so moist. Where did you get that recipe? Marjorie, by the way, is Alan's mother. <laughs> yes. Not what? <laughs> <laughs> so where does this recipe come from, Marjorie? It's delicious. Actually, my sister gave it to me, and I've been baking it for 30-some years. I mean, it is so delicious. Is that real butter in there? Yes. And yes. now you have made, I've got, I'm trying to try this. I'm going to eat it with my fingers. This is a Bananas Foster rum cake. Yes. Did you make this up? Yes. See the caramel? 
so moist. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I love it. This is a fresh strawberry lemonade. It's absolutely amazing. It's got real strawberries, real sugar, and real lemon juice, not from concentrate. It's pure lemon juice. It, it is so refreshing. I mean, I had no idea when you, I drank that that you made that yourself. Yeah. And I mean, what a difference yeah. in fresh fruit juice, you know? Um, I'm always looking for help. You know, we got a lot of stuff coming up, so I'm looking for qualified help. Somebody's got a driver's license. <laughs> uh, How is it driving this beast down the oh, road? This is all right to drive, but I need somebody to follow me in my van and stuff <laughs> when we go to different events. Because, you know, we got events where we're gone for three or four days. Now, where do I find out? Because, I mean, you are somewhere seven days a week. Pretty much, yeah. And then you post your schedule where? I post it on Facebook. Every week. Every week. I post it Sunday night. I'm probably going to start taking Sundays off or Mondays one or the other, but I posted on Sunday night where I'm going to be for the whole week. And we're usually out 11 to 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock. It depends on the business is and how I'm feeling. Well, I'll tell you, that it really is. Uh, uh, everything I've had is delicious. And then the, the sweet endings with your mom's yeah. uh, rum cakes. I well, mean, it's truly a taste of New Orleans. Um, you know, I've had people from New Orleans come up here and say it's better than anything they've ever had down there. Um, and I need that because I never think my food's good enough. As a chef, we never think it's good enough. We always want to improve it. But, you know, the, the public is just, I mean, we've served over 15,000 people since we've been open for a year and two months. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.